angel, his messenger, and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also, I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. If you've never met before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women at crossroads heal their past, create their future, and transform their present so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angelic Reiki, meditation, angel cards, hypnosis, to help women who feel lost get clear on their destiny. Now, each of the episodes of this show will cover various themes of your journey, normally with the wisdom of my wonderful guests through channel guided meditations or future life progression, past life regression or angelic Reiki. Now, this week, I'll be using future life progression to guide you 10 years into the future to see, feel, know, experience London or a town or city of your choice to see that life goes on, what the latest trends are, um, who's in power, what you need to know and much more. Now, this is based on the original script by Anne Gersh, whose new book, Future Vision, Your Working Life, 10 Strategies to Help You Get Ahead, is now on sale. Um, and you can find that on Amazon, it's in book form, and on the 14th of April, it does come out um, on Kindle. So please do check that, that one out. Um, now, why have I decided to do take us 10 years into the future? Reason being is with everything that's going on at the moment, you might kind of like feel, oh, is there anything going to be happening in the future? You know, um, what do I do? I, you know, is there things going to be all right? Do I feel I feel stressed? I, I'm not sure what's going on. Well, by going 10 years into the future, you'll be able to see that, yes, London, the city town wherever you live, does still exist. We are still here. We are still going about our business. Things might have changed, hopefully for the better, but you're going to be able to experience that when I guide you 10 years um, into the future. Now, future life progression, as I explained before, is like a waking dream. I will guide you into a nice relaxed state, and which will allow your subconscious to allow you to experience in any way, whether you see it, you feel it, you hear it, or just know it, your future life. Um, so before we do get started, I want to make sure that you are sitting comfortably, um, you won't be disturbed, you're not operating machinery, driving, doing any DIY or anything that's going to disturb you um, whilst you do this, um, whilst I take you into the future. Um, to see London in 10 years time. Now, when I um, take you, or guide you to London in 10 years time, if you don't actually want to see London, but you want to see a town or a city where you live, then please feel free to change um, London to whatever town or city it is that you are living in now. Um, I'm just guiding you, you are taking yourself there. So you will be able to change the destination of where you are going. So what I need you to do now is to just close your eyes. And as you do so, I would like you to take a deep breath in. And on the out breath, I would just like you to release any tension or stress that you may be feeling. Take another deep breath in and on the out breath, just release anything that no longer serves you now. Just allow your breath to flow into its natural state. And as you do, you give yourself permission to relax. You feel any stress just floating away. As you're breathing, just relax as you more and more. Just relax, letting go. And as you concentrate on relaxing and letting go, you feel your whole body let go and relax. 
Just focus on your body and notice if there is any tension in that part of the, your body. And just let it float away and leave your body feeling so relaxed and peaceful. Feel your body let go and sink into the chair or bed or floor. Just let go. And just imagine that you are out in nature. It's a beautiful day. Feel the sunshine coming down, giving you a warm glow. It's so relaxing. Notice the cool breeze as it skims across your skin. Soft, gentle tingle as you relax even more. This is your special place. So peaceful, so relaxing. And become aware of the beautiful garden around you. The soft green grass. Sweet aromas of the flowers. Beautiful array of colours. You look around and enjoy the beauty of nature. And as the sun shines down on you, you feel a warm and relaxation. Flow to the top of your head, relaxing easy and letting go. And you feel the golden warm of the sun shine down onto your neck, easing any tension as it relaxes all the muscles in your neck. And you feel the warm relaxation flow down into your upper arms, your elbows, easy relaxing and flowing all the way down to your wrists and hands, right down to the tips of your fingers, just letting go and feel the warmth flowing down your back easing all the muscles in your back, easing the tension in your spine, such relaxation and feeling so good as you feel the golden warmth flow down into your chest, your stomach, the whole trunk of your body. And you feel that relaxation flowing down into your hips and thighs. Feel your hips and thighs relaxing and letting go of any stress or tension. And feel the relaxation flowing down into your knees. And all the way down to your shins, your ankles and feet going right down to the tips of your toes and just feel the golden relaxation flow to any part of your body that still has any tension and feel the last of that tension just float away and enjoy the peace of your surroundings so peaceful and calm and nearby you notice a small fountain. The cool water is flowing and you listen to the gentle tinkling sounds as the water flows. And as you listen to the water flowing, you feel at peace with the earth, the sky and the universe. So peaceful so relaxing and up ahead you notice a small round silver craft sitting in the middle of a field and a winding path leading to the craft so you now walk along the winding path and with each step you take you relax more and more and as you approach the craft, 
deep in your inner knowing, you know this craft will take you into the future. And you arrive in front of the craft. It gently shimmers in the sunlight. It feels so welcoming. And a door opens in the side of the craft. And you look inside and see a big comfy chair. The craft just glows inside. A welcoming glow. And you climb inside and sink into the big comfy chair as the door gently closes. And you get a sense of moving up into the air. You feel the craft taking you up into the air, deep inside. You know that you are being taken to a higher awareness to gain information about the future of London or a town or city that will be useful for you to know. Next to the big comfy chair is a control panel. Reach out and tap the screen. Watch as it comes alive. In the section that says location, tap in the word London or the town or city that you want to go to. That's good. And in the box underneath, tap in 10 years, the screen whirls and confirm, confirms that you will now visit London or the town or city in 10 years time. And you look out of the window and below you see a road and your inner knowing. You just know that you're aware that the road behind is the past and the road in front is the future. Feel yourself floating above the road and feel yourself floating forward. One year, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, Seven years, eight years, nine years, ten years. And look down, you are floating over London in the year 2030. Take a moment to connect with this time and place. Use all your senses to tap into the time and place. Just know you may have an image in your mind or maybe you will just know or perhaps have a feeling or a thought form will pop into your mind. Whichever way the information comes to you, accept it. Feel free to zoom in and have a good look. And as you look down on London, what do you see? What do you know? What can you feel? And focus. Take whatever comes to you in whatever form it wishes to take. Does London feel as if it is thriving or is it struggling? How is the economy? What do your senses tell you? How is London financially?
Are the people of London doing well? Or are they struggling? How are they doing? Look at the environment of London. Does it seem cleaner or more polluted? How is the environment? What else are you aware of? Look at the transportation. Is travel easier, cleaner? Are there any problems or have there been any breakthroughs? What do your senses tell you? Who is the mayor? Is it someone we already know or have heard of? Or is it someone completely new? Focus on who is the mayor? How are they doing? Are they popular? Are they doing a good job? And look at what people are wearing. What are they using? How are they socialising? What are the current trends now going on? The must have gadgets. The must visit places. Just get a sense. She focus on the people that you can see below you. Are there any new developments? Get a feeling of the general mood of London. Are people optimistic? How do they feel? And finally, look and see if there is anyone particular who is making a difference to London. 
who is doing something positive for London and its people? Is there someone we already know? Or perhaps someone new making a difference? Just scan London and see. And focus and be aware if there is anything else we need to know. Any major developments. Take a moment and focus on if there is anything else we need to know. And finally know that you have advantage point. You have the gift of hindsight. Deep in your inner knowing, you are aware deep inside that you have the answers. Focus on this question now. What do the people of London need to know now? What would make a real difference to our knowing right now? And focus on this question. Is there any guidance you can give from your vantage point that would make a difference to the people of London? And take a deep breath and feel the craft beginning to move back and back and back to your present time and down back into your garden. The door is opening and you give a big stretch and as I count to five you will awaken feeling relaxed, but energized, and feeling positive and happy. So five and four, you are beginning to stir. Three and two, you can open your eyes. And one, you are fully awake and fully refreshed. And welcome back. So I'll just give you a moment or two to make sure you are fully back fully present in the here and now. And if you've got some water with you, then please do drink some now. Now, please do let me know what your experience was. It'll be lovely to um, collate everyone's experiences, um, what they saw, what they experienced, what knowledge you've brought back that can help everyone now. Um, you know, because if you can share, then that will help everyone else um, to know what they need to be doing now with the guidance that you have, you have brought back. And please let me know, you know, how, how you felt, um, how it was for you. I do love listening um, and reading your experiences and what we can learn from them, um, because it's it's absolutely brilliant that we have this ability to see the future, to experience it and bring back knowledge 
that we need to know that can help us right now, help us to move forward to make the world a better place. And that, so I hope you enjoyed going into your future to see London or wherever you wanted to see in 10 years time. Now, as normal, I normally ask my guests if they would like a guided meditation or an angel card. And as there's no guest here this week, and we've actually just done a, a future life progression, I'll actually do us an angel card. So as usual, I'll cleanse and bless the cards. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? What does everyone, I think we're going to be going with this card. Beautiful card, fellow travellers, support is all around you. And you've got a traveller with a couple of peacocks, a rainbow, mountains moving away. And it's a reminder um, for you now that there is support all around you. We're all, you know, we're all supporting each other at the moment. And it's absolutely beautiful that out of all this, we've actually come together and we are supporting each other. And it's not just people on the physical level that are supporting you. It's also um, people that have passed who are now in spirit who are supporting you. There's angels supporting um, you. There's Ascended Masters supporting you. There's Galactic Beings supporting you. You know, we have got so much support around us at the moment. And this card is basically confirmation of that. Um, so you know that you can quite easily now move forwards um, in, your, in your life. You know, everything is going to be okay. So... Um, if you have reached that crossroads in your life and you need help finding your destiny and getting clear on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you. Please reach out to connect with me and we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute video call um, to find out more about each other and how I can help you on your journey. Um, and my Angel Wings community membership is now open where you get the chance to um, row with ascended masters archangels and oracle cards to spread your wings and soar so please do check it out by the link included in the comments and from that link you can check out my website where if you want to sign up to a weekly newsletter that includes the weekly angel card reading so you don't have to try and find it um, you will get a free guided meditation and there's some other free gifts um, that that come along with signing up to the uh, newsletter. Now, next Monday at 8pm, my guest will be Raphael Ray. And I'm looking forward to chatting to him. The last time he was on, we had a brilliant conversation that could have gone on and on and on. So he's coming back um, to to have another conversation. We may be on the same subject, we may be on a different topic. You'll just have to tune in to find out. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. And I invite you to share this video out as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you. So have a wonderful week. As I said, do let me know um, in, your, in the comments or if you want to message me privately, you don't want to share it, just let me know, you know, what was your journey? What did you experience? What was it like? And I'll speak to you next week. Bye.